Time to get into your second set of exercises that I want you to go ahead and get started with. Now we're gonna hit a little bit of upper body and lower body with these exercises, and we're gonna start using an attached band setup. And I know what you're gonna say, Dave, I don't have a place to go ahead and attach bands. I understand that, I'll give you some options besides that if you don't have this. However, if you have a door, you can go ahead and get a band utility strap, or what we call a door anchor utility strap, and attach that into the hinge side of the door. From there, you can take your band and putting it on the plastic, the large plastic piece, just feed it through and link it onto your, go, your band utility strap. So now you have a, an attachment point to go ahead and do this next series of exercises. Again, I'll show you an option of not doing attached, but let's go ahead and let's get into the exercises first. Now, I'm also gonna use a handle. Now the handle is again, an optional type thing. It just makes it more comfortable. So if you wanna go ahead and have a handle, just attach your handle on and you're good to go with doing our first exercise, which is gonna be a bent over press. Now, the bent over press is designed to go ahead and train your shoulders. Why do I like the bent over press? Because as I press out, it's gonna be more comfortable in most cases for you to go ahead and do an overhead press movement. Now, let's talk about what if. What if I don't have a place to attach bands? Well, then what you can do is you can go to an overhead press where you take your hand through the band, place it right there, take it behind your shoulder, stag your feet, and you can do an overhead press just like that. So now you can go ahead and you can have the option of going ahead and doing either a bent over press or an overhead press, depending on if you don't have an attachment point. So that's gonna be your first series of exercises and how you wanna progress it. Now, you can go ahead if need be, when you do your bent over press, if you need a little bit of support, you can go ahead and hang on to something like a chair as you do your overhead press. So feel free to do that if you need it. That'll give you some additional assistance with regards to your bent over press. Let's go again into your second exercise. Your second exercise is gonna be a simple pull apart movement. I've got a very small band, a light band here. I'm gonna take my hand and wrap it around and I'm gonna wrap it around. So I have about 18 inches between my hands. Now this will be the most challenging. You'll split your stance and do your pull apart where you're pulling the band directly to your chest with your elbows straight. Now, what if you can't do a double band like that? Well, then I want you to go ahead and flip it over. I want you to grasp the band 18 inches apart and set your feet. And now you're just gonna use a single band. It will be a much less resistance and you'll definitely be able to do it. Plus, remember, you've got different levels of 41 inch bands. So you can go ahead and downgrade to a lesser resistance if need be. So there you go. Now let's get into your final exercise. Your final exercise is gonna be an attached split squat. So we're gonna slide your attachment point down and we're not gonna use your handle with this. We're gonna pop your handle off. Again, if you don't have a handle, it's okay. We're gonna take the band and we're gonna put it over top of our hips. I'm gonna move my chair a little bit so I have a little more room and we're gonna place this right in this position. Make sure that your utility strap is slid down. I'm gonna open my door and slide this down a little bit and reclose it. If you notice how easy that was to go ahead and adjust, now I've got my split squat. And I'm gonna position my hands, my feet, and I'm ready to go ahead and do a split squat attached. Why do I like the split squat attached? Because it's gonna allow you to go ahead and use body weight it's gonna create a horizontal force which is in going to engage your muscles more effectively and you have your hands free so that you can use the wall or a chair for balance if you need it. However, if you don't need your hands for balance, you can apply a weight into your hands to add a little bit more aggressiveness to the exercise by adding weight. So there's a lot of versatility in doing an attached split squat versus going ahead and just doing a standard attachment free split squat. However, if 
you do not have an attachment point and you can only do attachment free exercises, you're gonna take your single band, you're gonna stand on it, you're gonna go ahead and bring it by putting your one elbow through, putting your other elbow through, putting it right here, the band will plus press against the side of your arms and you can go ahead and do your split squat like that. The difference being, your hands aren't free. So now if you need balance, how are you gonna go ahead and get it? That's why I like the attached setup more effectively. So there you go, guys. You have bent over presses or a free band to press. You have split squats, attached or attachment free, and then you have pull aparts. You're good to go, guys. Now you have the next series of exercises that you can put into a simple workout and start knocking them out for yourself. You ready to go? Let's go ahead and let's attack this next series of exercises.